Hey everybody, I cannot believe that this is our last video lesson. We have come a long way in these last six weeks and I'm so proud of all of you guys. Um, you really have um, accomplished so much in a short amount of time. So I just wanna first thank you for being here and I'm really excited to show you how to make cards. So um, I think that making cards is pretty cool because you get to take that new skill of writing that you've learned and put them on a card and you are able to send that out and show your friends and family or whoever you want um, that you have learned a new skill and it is so cool. Or you never have to buy cards again and that's fun too. <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you how to make some um, painted cards. Hopefully you can tell that's painted. Then we're also gonna talk about just um, using markers to make a card and then also some different effects that you can get while making cards. So, hope that you guys are excited for this. I am. I did want to say that the full wreath that we learned last time, um, I love that wreath so much, but I probably would not paint it um, onto a card because it is so complex and um, it's timely to paint and you know paint has to dry before you can go to the next thing so i think that probably drawing that wreath if you want is the best option but then again completely up to you so hope you guys are excited to learn how to make some cards let's go ahead and get started hey everybody today we are going to work on making some cards so i'm really excited to show you guys this um this one right here is just um done with markers and I think it's really pretty and then I have these ones are done with paint so this is the one that I showed you before that I'm going to send to one of my friends and then this is also with paint so I'm going to show you how to do this and give you some pointers so then hopefully you can make your own too so what you're going to need is a card um, this is just a blank card. We have a whole pack of them here and you're going to go ahead and open it up just like this and you're going to need that um, circular object that you used before. So I have my jar ring. You're going to need a pencil to go ahead and outline. So for this, you're going to want to place it right in the middle and you're going to want to outline it, but not too heavy of an outline. So there we go. All right, that's the only thing you really need the ring and pencil for. So next you're gonna need to decide what you're going to decorate your wreath like. So for this one, I chose to do um, a green wreathy like border with the little flowers there. This one I chose to do all green and then just add in some colors. And then this other one over here, I chose to do just flowers. So you wanna think about what you want to do. I'm gonna do a little bit of both to show you guys. So one here, where first I'm gonna show you with the markers. So I'm just gonna divide it in half and kind of do that. So over on this side, I'm going to use my markers and you can kind of see we're just taking and making a little circle line type thing and connecting them to make the wreath. So that's all you're gonna do over here. You can make them as thick or as thin as you'd like. You can make them as big or as small as you'd like. Hopefully you can see that difference there. So really whatever look you're going for, you wanna try to make them consistent. Um, not unless you like how they look inconsistent, completely up to you. So you're going to do this um, and I always connect them like this. If you have them really close together, you won't have to worry about connecting them because they already look connected. So you can kind of see that there. Perfect. And then let's see what color I have here. We'll do red for flowers. So when I make a flower with the marker, I just take and start in the center and just kind of make a, a circle. And then I'll come around the edges and just add some, that makes it look like a flower. 
So that's pretty much all I do to make a flower. You can go like this if you want. Either way works. Perfect. Then you can come back with some other colors if you want and put little dots in the center. I'll just use black so you can see it. So you can put some dots in the center like that. Or if you want to use a color that is kind of similar in my little packet, I only have this orange, but you can take and do some around motions there to try to add some definition to your flower. I kind of really like that. So you can see that there. And then if you want, you can add in the dots too. So that just gives it a little bit different of a look. Then when we get over to painting, um, I only brought pink over here, but I'm just using an acrylic paint and I'm just shaking it up and I just use, oh goodness, the paint that is up here in the lid. So then you don't have to pour any out or dip it down. And I just take and dab some. I'm gonna show you these um, flowers. So you just go around and around, kind of like we were doing before. And then this is really where um, adding different colors looks neat and that you can really tell. So I usually just do the flowers like that. And then um, once these dry a little bit, I'll go back and add some colors in like we did down here, or you can add in more of this same color, but once it's dried, it will have a different effect. You can make it a little bit thicker if you want, try to give it some texture. That's one pro about using the paint. Um, I didn't have any green to show you guys, but um, with the flowers using paint, it's a lot easier just to take and make an upside down V, or you can do a V, a normal V. Either way, um, you just wanna make sure that you're trying to go the same way. We talked about that a little bit before, but yeah. Um, you can also stack them pretty close together like I did before. I really think paint, if you have time, the paint turns out pretty cool, but the um, using markers is easy and takes less time and you still get a great product. So you can see the difference there. Um, I added in some dots in my other ones. I feel like that just gives it a little bit different of a look without having to do too much. I just did that. And so also while I'm dotting this thing, um, you want to think about what you're writing inside and making sure you have enough room. So like this dot, I put in pretty far and it's kind of a big dot. So that means that I have a smaller space to write. So you wanna keep that in mind when you are um, putting dots around. The dots might be something that you want to do after you've written in the circle. So I'm going to show you not on this wet one. I'm gonna put this to the side. Um, let's see, we'll use this one. So you have all of this space inside to write. And so you can either use a pencil and kind of trace it out. Um, let's see, we'll just write happy birthday. So you can do it like this. Okay, so then you can see if you have enough space or if you need to erase and do something. You wanna make sure that you're writing lightly when you do this. So see, I took my pencil and I drew over top of my paint there. It does not erase very well. So just keep that in mind. So you can do something like that. And then what you're gonna do is just take your colors. Let's see, we'll do purple. Hopefully this one writes well. And then you'll just come over and trace. So the good thing about this is that you make sure you have enough space before you just go ahead and write with your marker. I have done a few cards that I ran out of space because I didn't plan ahead. So definitely working on that is important. 
So then I have some pencil lines that you can see and you can just take your pencil and go back and erase those. If you wrote lightly enough, it should erase just fine. But, there we go. So I make these all the time for my friends or um, just as a thank you. I think that they're so easy and really pretty. So hope that you guys enjoyed how to do this. I'd love to see your cards. If you have paint at home, um, your kids have paint and you just wanna try it out, go for it. Um, if you just have markers, that turns out great too. Just practice on um, getting all of your words in that area and then flourishing around your area to make it pretty. And of course, you can add your own touches and do something different. These are just some different ideas that I had done and hopefully you um, like them. I'll talk about this real quick. The I don't know if you can see it really well on the camera, but it's really um, like a shiny sparkly. I used a paint pen, so that's a really great option too if you wanna add just a little bit of um, something special to your card. So I used paint on this and then I just used my paint pen and um, came in and made that little gold reflect D. And it just takes it to um, a little bit higher of a look. So you can tell the difference between those two. They both look great, but this one I think looks a little more polished and put together just from using that paint pen. And you can get that at um, the craft store, at the Walmart, any of that. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to see your cards and Thanks for being here.